Hello and welcome to the next Lukosa retro game review video and for this one it is Guns and Ghosts for Commodore 64 Yes, that's Guns and Ghosts, not Ghouls and Ghosts I fucking draw the line long before subjecting myself to the frustration of Ghouls and Ghosts uh, Anyway, rather like the last game I did uh, with this one it's more the uh, computer that this game is played on that is retro because this game came out in 2013 so it's only five years old in fact it's it's five years almost to the day that uh, this came out so this was released by uh, Cytronic uh, whose logo looks very suspiciously similar to Psygnosis and it's not helped with of course the, the PSY at the start so I mean it could be that they are made up of former Psygnosis employees I have no fucking clue um, now this game uh, is uh, either single player or uh, two player simultaneous which does of course mean with it being on a Commodore 64 that it uh, features something which is totally alien to uh, modern uh, multiplayer gamers which is that uh, the two players have to be present in the same room amazingly in order to actually uh, play the game you know, as, a, as a two player now, there are two characters in this, uh, Georg and uh, Trev, and they both have completely different uh, attacks. Now, you would imagine, therefore, with the two player, you take control of either of the characters, which, of course, you can do. But if you decide that you don't like the attack of uh, one character, <coughs> Trev, um, you can both play as Georg, or if you are you know, both completely fucking psychotic, you can both play as Trevor as well. So there's a uh, you know a good amount of options uh, here as far as uh, the uh, two-player game goes. Anyway, let's uh, fire up. So anyway, we have a, a bit of storyline there. Although this, uh, there seems to be a recurring pattern every 44 years. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't reoccur very often, does it? Every 44 years. Okay. All right. Anyway, press fire at the start, and here we go. So I am playing as uh, Georg, and uh, as the title of the game does rather suggest, you need to uh, shoot all of the, uh, the various uh, undead and ghosts and demons and everything else that uh, all crop up now uh, your character here is armed with a shotgun and if you look at the bottom there next to uh, LV which is your lives um, you can see the uh, two bullet icons and that is how many shots you actually have once uh, they've been used up, you have to wait for them to reload before you can fire again. And all the reloads, you've just got to stop moving and they will uh, reload automatically. Now, some of the creatures, as is there, will drop uh, power-ups. That one I picked up was an extra life. I'll go through the others as they get uh, dropped, which hopefully won't take too long. Another extra life. Believe me, this game is pretty generous when it comes to awarding extra lives. These uh, bats here take multiple hits, so take three hits to uh, destroy. Now that icon there gives me an extra shot, so you'll see now I have uh, three bullets down there, so I can now fire three times before I need to reload. Now you can't actually see uh, the shots you fire, 
which I suppose, you know, is not a bad thing. It does, therefore, you know, give the impression that the shot you fire is, you know, moving at quite a rate. I really want that extra shot. Got it. But, uh, I mean, if, like me, you're so used to, uh, you know, shoot em ups or whatever, where you do see your uh, shot, it takes a bit of getting used to the fact that uh, your shot is actually invisible, you can't see it. There we go, right, so that's level 2 done. On this level, you can't actually jump out of this pit here, so you have to stay in here and. Well. I say you gotta do well avoiding uh, the zombies that come out of the ground around you as well as those that drop down, but to be honest, this level is not difficult. That S gives you temporary uh, invincibility, which on the earlier levels like this is really not uh, particularly uh, important. Fuck it out here. So the uh, large number of extra lives the game gives you is quite handy. Now that one I picked up there, you can see the uh, bullets have now changed colour. That gives me a super shot, so any uh, creatures that take multiple hits now, I can destroy them in one shot. Unfortunately, all of the creatures on this uh, level are just these zombies which can be killed in one shot. But here we get some uh, more bats and as you can see dealt with them in uh, one hit. But uh, that, you know, that uh, super shot only lasts for a short time, it has run out so uh, I'm going to wait and reload again. One icon that hasn't appeared, which is particularly handy, is the one that speeds up your uh, reload. I could really do with it, because... Well, let's cut to the chase. At the moment, you are probably thinking this, this game looks like it's fucking easy. And yeah, these earlier levels are very easy. But... The difficulty soon ramps up. That is, yeah, the uh, icon that uh, will speed up reloading. They they do stack, so the more of those uh, particular, uh, you know, super fast reloaders you get, the faster you will reload. Shit, the uh, super shot has uh, run out. These bats are a real fucking pain in the arse. Oh fuck it, so he's missing the platform. So standing here and firing uh, across the screen is probably the easiest way of getting anywhere. I say, completely missing just about every single time. Right, this level introduces a new uh, enemy, I think. No, it doesn't. It's mostly bats again. Oh, fuck it. It's fucking typical. It's uh, the co I'm recording, and it's one of my shittiest goes ever. I'm stuck down here in this area of the level where I don't want to be. I want to be on the other side of the screen. Shots. I don't hurry up and reload all. He yeah, did, and then I missed with uh, <laughs> yeah, with those. Oh, fuck I'm getting out of there. It's getting a bit crowded for my liking. I'll have that though. 
Oh, fuck yeah, I'll eat the reload. Hurry up. Super shot certainly help here. Take that extra life. I need that, I've only got seven left. The most lives I've had at any one time was 14. That was a bit ridiculous, but there you go. I knew the super shot would run out then. Right, one bat left. There we go. This level is pretty simple actually. I don't know why it only appears as level six. It's not difficult. All all you get coming towards you are the uh, one, one shot zombies. There's two extra lives I picked up there. So I'm now up to nine. If you hold down fire button you will just keep blasting away. Okay, now another extra life because I really need them. So I'm now up to 11 lives. I think that's that level done. No. There we go. 12 lives. That is that level done. Right, this is a level where the next uh, new enemy comes along. Notice the uh, skeletons. Now these things, if you are in their eye line, they will then come and try and chase you. Now if you stay behind them, you're fine. But if you shoot them, they will turn around and come running after you, providing that, you know, you hadn't already shot them uh, twice. They take three hits to uh, kill. Grab that extra life, which I desperately need. I only have 13 now. Now those two at the bottom there are going to be real fucking arseholes to try and get rid of. Do I feel okay there. But that went better than I uh, thought it would. Oh, fuck, you know, I wasn't what you want to do. I've only got 13 lives left now. Oh, I want that. Yeah, speed up reloading a bit more. Yeah, I could do with that. I was getting worried that, you know, with only, with only uh, 14 lives, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to uh, get to, uh, too far. Oh, I could certainly do with that. Right, so that's the super shot for all these fuckers still up here. So, I don't know if I can actually time it. So on this level, you do get the, uh, as you saw there, the, the skeletal uh, enemies showing up, but. Uh, I currently have the super shot, so yeah, I'll take them out in one hit. Provided I'll fire it before they uh, come along and, and hit us. Yeah. Looks like I've made pretty short work of that level. Oh, thank God for that. Got my life back up to 13. I was struggling there. Now, here we have another new uh, enemy that uh, crops up the uh, Frankenstein's monster. These fuckers take. Uh, seven hits to kill, but because I've got the super shot still, I'm alright at the moment. So I could 
could really do with them coming down here so I can uh, take them out before there we go before my uh, super shot timer runs out which it now has back just in time to start level 10. So this is, I think this is the last level before the uh, boss level for this stage. All of the uh, monsters that appear on this level are these Frankenstein monster things, so uh, yeah, having the super shot now is more than handy. Right, it's now run out. Oh, I didn't see that extra life, I'm going to have to only have me uh, 15 lives now. Now because these things take so many hits, I do find myself frequently doing what I'm doing here, which is basically hiding for a lot of the time. Once you hit them uh, the first time and they turn green, they do then start moving around faster. Fuck out of the way, hide up here and reload again. Yeah. Right, that's that gun then. Then I've got to hide up here again. Oh fuck it, I thought uh, there wouldn't be any more uh, cropping up. Fully so reloaded again. I'm rather locked out there. Anyway, let's get the uh, review underway. Graphically, uh, the graphics are, you know, okay. Although, for a Commodore 64 game that was published in 2013, I thought they would be better than this. I'm not saying they're shit, but I thought they would be better. Uh, in terms of audio, the music is pretty good. There are sound effects, you can play the game with either music or sound effects, but not with both. Which is a bit annoying, I'd like to have both, but I guess, you know, you can't do everything. Uh, the sound effects are staggeringly bland, as I've got to try and now beat the boss. When you shoot him, he goes stationary and then fires out these sort of beams. Oh, fucking hell, that was close. So yeah, I mean, graphically it is, you know, fine, and so audio-wise, the, uh, the music is fine sound effects are shite. Um, if you want to hear the sound effects, get the game, because I really don't want to be playing this with sound effects. And the gameplay, I mean, it's it's a you know pretty decent, I suppose, uh, you know, shoot em up come platformer, but it's not without issues. So there we go, that's uh, level 11 done, that is the first uh, stage done. So, on to uh, the next stage, level 12. Right, now the enemies get a lot more difficult. These spidery-like things move fucking fast. And they take multiple hits. And when you hit them the first time, they start moving even quicker. And now, you think, right, all those fucking lives I've got, yeah, now they are fucking useful. Because, I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do down here? There is a limit to how many shots you can uh, get. I think I already have the maximum. So, right, fuck it, we'll just try and mine all these cunts down. There we go. I'll 
I've got the super shot, which is more than handy, but... So anyway, yeah, I think uh, the gameplay is fine, but uh, the problem is that the game starts off very easy, as you saw, and by the time you get to the more challenging stages, such as here, you've already been playing the game for a fair while, and there is a good chance that you could be bored with the game before you actually get to, uh, you know, the, the points where the game actually starts presenting any sort of, any sort of challenge. It really could do with an option on which level you want it to start on. Because, so I, I obviously didn't have this back in the day because this game didn't exist back in the day. Fucking not even as old as the London Olympics, or the most recent London Olympics. So, um, you know, I haven't played this game much at all. I've played it about five times, and already I am really bored of, the, like, the first ten levels, because they are so simple. And, uh, yeah, okay, so the game is pretty generous with its extra lives and everything, but once you get to, like, you know, levels 12 and onwards, you realise you need those extra lives. Um, so, yeah, the game does get properly fucking challenging. But, like I say, you, you are playing the game for a fair while before you get to that stage. Uh, I think we have another new uh, enemy crumping up. Okay, not here, but uh, it must be the next level. Now the only reason I've got this far is because I am doing the uh, the video review. Normally, I've got bored with the game by this point and I stopped playing it. So how do I rate it then? Um, it's it's not a shit game. Not by any stretch, but uh, it could just do, I say with that level select feature, if it had that it would be much better because you're not going to get so bored with the uh, rather easy start. But, I mean, yeah, that uh, feature isn't, uh, isn't here. So... I will score this game 7 out of 10. So it's... It's a, you know, it's a decent shooter come platformer sort of pillar in the middle of the screen there does block your shot so you can't shoot right through it. You've got to get down here. Okay. Don't tell me it's almost through this level already. Guess I am. So I will score this game 7 out of 10. It looks pretty good, it sounds pretty good, and, you know, it does play pretty good, but, uh, you may find yourself getting a bit fed up with the, uh, 
first few levels quite quickly and because you can't skip them you may not play this game as often as as well frankly as often as it, as it deserves it is one of those games that you know it's well well done and on the surface has a, a lot going for it If there isn't, uh, you know, if they couldn't put in a level selection thing, how about putting in, um, oh, fuck it, hell, this level looks like a bit of a cunt. Do with that. Saying, oh yeah, uh, as there isn't the level selector, so like a difficulty selector, you know, just something so that uh, the first, face it, the first ten levels aren't so easy that they're boring. Fucking come on! Don't rate my chances of getting off this level. Especially now. There we go. So there you are, game over. Oh, I can't type it in. Fuck off. Looks like it's crashed, but uh, it hasn't. There you go. Um, I'll just quickly show you what's, uh, how to play as uh, Trev. I'll also show you the sound effects. So yeah, so the game is mostly silent now. So with Trev, you have these psychic uh, hits, which um, have hardly any range. But you don't uh, have to do things like reloading or anything. There were there are power ups that will increase the uh, power of them, which presumably might give you a bit more range. But I mean, yeah, I'm playing with sound effects, <laughs> and it's it's near silence. I mean, there are a few more sound effects if you play as Georg, and you you know you get the shotgun sounds, but uh, yeah, that's that's all you get. So sound effects are yeah shite because there is virtually none. Okay, and how many uh? As long as you give me you, I'm sure it doesn't give you this many uh, when I play as uh, the other character. I've also noticed it's coming up score zero. It's as if I'm not actually destroying them. I'm not. Oh, fucking hell. So I've got to hit them for a long time until they explode. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely don't like playing as this character. <laughs> so I mean, how am I supposed to get the bats with this cunt? Oh fuck! 
like it. Anyway, uh, that'll do. So, um, that is uh, Guns and Ghosts then. Uh, graphically, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, sound effects wise, it's absolutely shite. Uh, music wise, it's fine. See, I'll say mu music's pretty good. And the gameplay is fine once it starts becoming challenging. Unfortunately, that does take a while. I.e., once you've got past the first, uh, what, uh, 11 levels, um, which is likely to result in you getting rather bored with it. So, there you go, that brings this review to an end, and uh, we shall be back with the next one.